Hi, beautiful. How you doing today? You look so gorgeous. Today we're watching some people color their hair bright mother orange, AKA super orange, which reminds me, I have four brand new X model colors coming out on February 25th. We have super orange, super red, super green, and super yellow to live your super fantasy. You've been asking for these colors so damn much and I'm finally giving you more colors to complete the entire rainbow. The colors will be linked right down below for you to check out. I cannot wait to see what kinds of orange fantastic looks people create in today's videos. I feel like the color orange is going to be so big this year and just become bigger and bigger. Mark my words, you're gonna see everybody rocking some orange hair. With that all said, let's check out what these people do to their damn heads. Let's do it. Up first, we have a video by Natalie B and this is called dyeing my hair from dark brown to orange. Ah at home, step by step. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair orange. I went to the beauty supply earlier and I picked up some stuff. Girl, those are some latchins. Those latchins are long and thick. She got like five pairs on, baby. I got some bleach packets and then I got 40 developer cause my hair is really dark. And then this is the color that I'm gonna be doing. That's gonna blast the shit out of your hair, which you probably need that, honestly. Your hair is extremely dark. It's gonna be a lot of work to get that out. Okay, so we're mixing the bleach right now. That shit is black, like her eyelashes. I mean, it looks like she has no roots. I would probably just foil everything from the roots to the ends in very small foils and lighten it the f out of it. Looks heavy, like that looks like inky dye. And they're gonna miss so many spots, you know they are. We're starting right at the front, right? The most fragile part of our heads, guys. Start at the back, right back here. That way it doesn't break off. Oh, hell no. Y'all piss me off. It's the lack of bleach for me. It's putting lighter on and then rubbing it off with your hand. The lighter is supposed to stay on the freaking hair strand. You guys don't know the roots, um, they die quicker than the rest of your hair. She didn't know that though. Your roots die quicker than the rest of your hair, except she's using foils. So that rule doesn't apply here because you're incubating the ends in heat. So you could just do the roots at the same time, honestly. Oh, what a gorgeous foil. That won't make some strands dark and some strands light or anything because of the crunching them together. It'll be fine. Guys, if you're gonna put foils in your hair, just fold them, fold them. We don't need to. And the sections are getting bigger and bigger as they go. They're starting to give up. They're like, oh, I'm done. Not hardly enough lightener. And what the f is going on? Okay, so I just got out of the shower. It's um this color. This side's a little bit patchy. I'm sure it's all patchy. It's super blonde up here, but it's still dark here, so I'm gonna bleach this. Probably with 30 developer this time, so it's not as harsh. Honestly, for what could have happened, this isn't the worst. It actually doesn't look like she missed any spots somehow. I don't know how they ended up doing that. I mean, at least the roots got light. I didn't even think that was gonna happen. Uh, and the end. You can see that just pigmented color on those ends that is just like not coming out She's probably been dyeing her hair over and over and over again with the same color And that's what happens is it gets built up on the ends not as built up in the mids and the roots obviously um, Probably have never been colored before I don't know what her situation is But it looks to be like she colors it a lot and overlaps every single time don't do that You know with one more layer it'll be perfect and then we're gonna throw in the orange That's a bold assumption. It's like assumptions about me. So we almost finished the second layer. <sighs> God damn it, guys. God, it used to be don't start at the root. Now it's turned into apply enough lightener. Cause I see you rubbing it off. Put paste on, just really get it on there. We just finished um, adding the bleach. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. It's dry as hell, look at it, crusty. This is the color I'm about to use, Cajun Spice. Girl, you're not even gonna show us the hair. <laughs> She's hiding it. She's like, if Ramondo sees this he's gonna be pissed. The good thing is Miss Cajun Spice color over here is looking really dark. I think it'll cover it nicely and even it all out and it'll look pretty good. Luckily, orange is a more simple color to do. You don't need your palette to be perfectly white or bright or anything. It can be a little spotty and it'll still look really nice once you put the orange over it, especially when it's a dark orange. I literally love this so much. 
I can't wait to see it when it's dry. Go show it off for us. I'm so happy with the turnout. The story is a little crazy, but I got the results I wanted. Oh, I'm gonna go on your channel and find a video of you with your hair down because that was not enough for me. Okay, so it has faded in this one. She's go she's going for a big chop a Rooney. That's for another video, darling. I'm gonna stop it there. Listen, it came out spotty, adorable, lovely, but next time let's just do it a little more right. Let's make sure our, our saturation is there with the lightener and let's make sure the color is nice for you you know what you could do also is do a darker orange on the top even like a more red and then do a copper on the bottom that way it evens out those kind of darker spots everything has more of like a done at the salon kind of feel because we hardly ever do one solid color all over somebody's head it's usually varieties of different colors and different tones and um, when you do one solid color all over it kind of looks like it was done at home which is totally what you did so I guess it's fine up next we have a video by Alyssa Nicole and it's called dying my hair orange with an orange little heart. As many of you guys know, I had, or I have, split hair. It was black and like a copper orange. It's faded now. Oh, you were in my Halloween video. I don't remember if I liked your hair or not, but it looks like it's grown out. It looks like <laughs> it's seen better days. But I'm going to be getting rid of the black and then just going full copper because honestly, I love this color so much. I ordered some color oops. It's supposed to be for permanent hair color, but I've had it work on literally any type of hair dye. I'm going to use color removal, bleaching, and and then using the high color highlight and try to see if that makes like a full color on my head. I don't know if it will. If you guys saw my hair color removal video where I tried all different kinds of hair removers, color oops is not supposed to be used on dying permanent color. However, she's saying it worked for her. For me, it didn't really work. I don't know what to believe. It says on the box not to, and then it says kind of somewhere else too that you can use it on semi permanent colors on the front of the box, but then in the inside it says something different. I don't know anything about life anymore, apparently. Okay, we're working the color remover through. I'm excited to see what happens happens with this, if it actually works or not, because I'm gonna be shocked if it does. So this is just going back to kind of the just like blondish brown and then the orange is still a little bit under here, which is fine. The best part about this is that she's doing a copper color. That means that her hair can come out orange, which it probably will. And it's totally fine because she's putting orange on top of it. So there's really just no worries here. Like I wanna know if she can like get this black out. I'm ready for a really good result. What you do is you shampoo and let your hair sit under the water rinsing for 20 minutes. Yes, 20 minutes. And then you like shampoo your hair multiple times and rinse it for like a total of about 30 minutes. So it takes a long time and when it dries you'll kind of get the final idea but I can already tell that this is kind of just going to like a lightish brown which is like the hair color that I was at before. Okay hell no. For 20 minutes of rinsing that should have came all the way out. You could have just skipped the color remover step, honestly. It really is not gonna help you. Just use bleach. This is a lot. Could have done two rounds of bleach. Honestly, I, wouldn't, I don't think it would have been any worse on your hair than uh, what you ended up doing, so. So I don't have another color removal remover, um, so I'm just going to bleach my head. Well, the right, the left side. And then there's some pieces over here that are dark like right here. And I'll probably bleach like where it's a little bit dark right there. Give me some bleach in this we're bleaching the head, we're bleaching the head, we're bleaching it, bleaching it, bleaching in the head. Doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, bleaching the head. She's looking like she's doing a really good job here. We're going in and we're doing section by section, which I love to f see. She's doing it, she's rocking it, she's killing it, she's moving it, and she's grooving it. And I'm happy about it. Here's what my hair looks like. So, it's like green and purple and blue. It didn't work. Let's just look at this monstrosity right here. She's gonna need to foil each little hairball, put paint on 30 volume and lightener and get that cooking because otherwise this does not look like it's gonna budge. I don't know how she's gonna get it out. Does she get it out? I really don't even know. Okay, I'm about to rinse out the second bleaching, but I don't know if you guys can see, but the black tart part is now turning like a pink purple color. So, I mean, that's a good sign that it's lighting up anyway. Put some more bleach on your head. Like, why is there no lightener on your damn head? It is such a fine, thin layer of lightener. I need more and I want more and I demand more. Um, honestly, it's not like super dark. Um, it looks worse on camera than it actually is in person. This messy bleach application is killing me. Of course, we've got that, you know, gross green right here. And we've got a little bit of this, like this weird light pink. Don't really know where that came from. This side lightened up pretty good. It's just yellow. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the L'Oreal high color highlights. I'm going to use it with 20 volume developer. So it's not like super strong. Okay. So her hair is looking a little bit messy. See. Um, I hope the high color comes to the rescue and it may just do that because you're using 20 volume You are gonna get that lifting moment going on and not just a deposit only moment. So you may get 
a good color. This could be exactly what you need in order to fix the color. Okay, so it's really orange. I'm wishing her the best right here. You just never know, really, with these things. We just never do know, right, guys? Like, we just never do. At least she's doing a lot. She's doing, she's applying it nicely. Section by section, strand by strand. Looks like it's covered everything, so I'm gonna rinse it out, style it, do my makeup, and show you guys the final result. BRB, hopefully my hair is probably like fried right now. All right guys, here is my hair. I mean, it kind of just looks like a natural redhead. I've always wanted to be a natural redhead. You just pulled some on me. How the f did you get that color? Why does it look good? Why does it look wearable? My hair is fried. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I mean, it, it took a while for me to even brush through it because you might not be able to see how dry it is, but I mean, it's pretty dry. So I'm gonna do some coconut oil treatments. So let me go outside and show you what it looks like in the sunlight. Okay, listen, Alyssa, I need some of your luck. I'm gonna grab it. I'm grabbing it from the screen girl because I'm, I need it right now. Um, It's been a hectic day, a week, month, year. You seem like you're winning at life. If you could just pull that off, I don't know what else you can pull off in life because that was unbelievable. All right, well, great job. You look amazing, and I love this color on you. Let's move on to the next video. Up next, we have a video by Kayla Stroop, and it is called Hair Dye Diaries, Green to Orange. I am nervous as all heck, but uh, my hair dye just came in the mail today, so I can't wait any longer because honestly, this is just making me feel really gross. I'm ready to feel like me again. Time to bleach. My bleach. We're bleaching. <laughs> a radical bleach Pretty kit. Bad, it's, um... I kind of just been using it forever. Ever, so all right well we can use it I guess it's not broke don't fix it I never heard of her we have applied the lightener all the f over her head which is scary because she had pre lightened mids and ends and not lightened uh, and unlike natural roots that's how you say it natural roots and we're putting lightener all over would have definitely rather her have lightened the roots first let them get nice and yellow and then pull it through the ends because they're already lightened. You don't want to over process them as much as you're processing the ends. You know what I'm saying? It's a little scary. It's literally the same color. No, it's lighter. Oh, wait. Ooh, look at that. That is gross. It actually looks okay. Decent enough to now put orange over her hair and I'm excited for the orange. It's gonna be a whole new twist. She's gonna be vibing the out with orange. I already grabbed this with dye hands, so that was smart. This is sunset orange. Girl, you need super orange in your life. So for this next layer up, I am going to mix a little bit more of another brand in, just to kind of like hopefully give it some variation. This is special effects high octane orange. Okay, this is bright. I think this is gonna cover the green perfectly and leave her with such a cool new look. It's all over her face though. Guys, just be a little bit more careful. Stop getting in your hairline like get it off your skin can you believe this what the f uh, it turned out so much better than I could have imagined I didn't really have a plan in mind when I started fading my hair <laughs> I eventually wanted to go orange but I thought that because of how long my hair had been green and because it was green that there just wasn't a chance what is going on today because the last two videos have been so weird like why is it working for them it shouldn't work this way like I get why it did work but I also don't really get it because her hair was so green it was so green and how did it end up so freaking orange and bright and vibrant and fierce she looks so good. I think it's a fun change, but I do love the green. I'm so happy for her. 10 out of 10, babe. It looks dope. Well, that was, uh, it was wild. I think it was magical, Um, and I'm happy for all of them that it came out nicely. However, I'm very surprised still. I, again, I'm trying to process it, but I can't. I don't know how this all went decently well. Yeah, good for you guys. That's all I really have to say. If you guys can keep up with your orange hair, get super orange. It'll help you with your damaged hair after doing all that stuff to it, because we have bond builders and proteins and hyaluronic acid and all kinds of oils and amazingness in X Mondo hair color. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you do it right down below and click the like button and the bell icon to stay notified every time I do a new video. Also, you can text me at this number right here. It's my number. Yes, I see some of your messages and yes, I'll be texting back a few of you guys if you text me right now. It'll also keep you notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else here on my social media links, handles, whatever you want to call them. There they are. If you guys want to check out my hair color, 
color line and my hair care line, you can do so at Xmondo Hair. It is linked below. You can also head to our Instagram for inspiration on what look you should do next at Xmondo Color for color and Xmondo Hair for hair care. And if you guys wanna live your extra life with me, make sure you check out my merch. It is all right here. It's so freaking cute. I literally wear it every day. I'm not even like lying because I'm supposed to say that, but I'm not. It's so comfy. It's linked below for you as well at xmodelhair.com. You can shop it there. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Berlin. I have really curly hair and I have done nothing with it. I want to dye it. What should I do? Okay, Berlin. You know what would look amazing on you, which is actually interesting that you ended up being today's shout out. Orange would look so fun on you. Plus your hair is so dark. If you just lighten a little bit and it, even if it looks a little f***ed up, you can still go copper orange. These girls today are proof of that. And it'll be a fun change for you. Also, I could 100% see you with a shaved head and orange oof, would look stunning and unbelievable. If you end up doing it, I would love to see a photo. Good luck. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.